I, back in your life. I'm scared of the camera. Back in your life. After. Yeah, yeah no, it's been a minute. So, yeah, I, yeah, no, guys. Um, yeah, back in your life. Like, like good sex from a terrible ex. We are back. Hey, Joe, why, yeah. why, why you talking about that? Died in <laughs> no, because we haven't been around for a while. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, Ma- Merry, good evening. Merry New Year. Yes, Merry everything. To you and yours. Do you know what? When I was thinking about today's shoot, I noticed something. Every time we take a production break, some crazy shit happens. Every time. What happened? The last time we took a break around October, Israel started invading Gaza and bombing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before that, we took a break. There was gas explosions in Johannesburg. So every time we take a production break, I'm I'm crazy the world happens. There's hills in Joburg now. Flooding on the that happens. So yeah, oh. low water shedding now in my hood. What I don't know what that's about. <laughs> like, on the on the real, like guys, I don't know. Maybe she stops. I, I, I believe I believe that's not low water shedding. I, I don't know what it is. It's annoying. Yeah, is what it is. You it's have to really get uh, water from a, a truck. Truck, you know, buckets. I just go to work and I jack the water from. The <laughs> if they didn't know, now they know. But yeah, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. 2024. Yo, how we made it. I'm like, just about. They thought alcohol was going to kill us. We made it. Uh, (laughs) Just about. But guys, a lot has happened since we took our production break. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome, welcome. Mm, They all got married and divorced then. And remarried and divorced and married and divorced. So yeah, but now. over. Three times over. Single again. So. Back at it. Back at it like a cracker. If you guys want him. Hit us up. Girls, not guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just clarification. Clarification. Yeah, clarification. But guys, in all honesty, uh, we're glad to be back. We're glad to be back. And we're glad to bring some normalcy and consistency within your lives. We're not going anywhere. We're going to try new things. Or you'll see them. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're going to do a recap of like, give us like five to ten. I know this is going to run for a while, but just a recap of, dude, last time I saw you was October. What the hell have you been up to? Yo. Yeah. Okay, at least brief us on the Clarence trip. Yo. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, no, I, I know I you ended, did that. I ended yeah. my year in Clarence. Uh, yeah, Clarence is amazing. What a town, though. Mare, it doesn't have fireworks. Yeah, dude, it's okay. It's white. Yeah. Very white. Uh, <laughs> it's you know it's the white, part? white. Like, you know what's the funny part? <laughs> okay. The, the song that we they were singing in yeah. the AMs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the song. Jesus, who knows? Like, sweet Carol. I was gonna say, she's got the whitest song on earth. Uh, you whitest song. Like, Clarence is just white as hell. Yeah, so Clarence is it's just. It's cool. Because, like, cool. um, you see someone in this restaurant, yeah. they see you again, and they're like, yo, we saw you in that restaurant. Are you? And I'm like, guys, are we standing out that much? How many black guys did you come across? The, like, just. Uh, just. Yeah, no. Wait, did you go see Mohope? That the little one? Because mm-hmm. that's his neck of the woods, though. No. Yeah, I should have hit him up. That is... I, sh- I should have, cause, but I didn't know. Ah, oh, I, I should have told you. Because the last they... time Jones and I went, I bumped yeah. into him at the whiskey bar. Yeah, I know. Got hella hammered on bourbon. Because, like, but... then I go to... Is it Velda? Velda Beers, yeah. Beers. Yeah. Then the, the, the bartender there says, Jay, sorry. Yo, you went to Free State. Yeah. You should have <laughs> went to the highest... Oh, the highest the, bar in the, in the country. In the yeah, country. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, ah, why didn't I know about the thing? Because like, you're supposed to plan your trip before you actually take the trip. But I mean, like, I went to, to the free state. Yeah. Okay, like, okay, it was before I had this. Yes, it was before you had The free state was with this. But I didn't know. I didn't know the highest. Because, like, he's like, when you're there at the highest one, yeah, this side is South Africa, this side this is, is Lesotho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, was, was, no, but, my, was my beer passport going to work at the border? Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah we got these uh, in latest news. These are old, but we yeah. didn't talk about them because we didn't have them the last shot, the last shoot day. So, yeah, we got beer passports. Shout out to Holger Meyer. So, put those together. And they officially call us alcoholics. Yeah, so please tell the ladies and gentlemen what the beer passport is. Okay, beer passport is your license to drink craft beer everywhere, anywhere in this in country. South Africa. Yup. There's like, uh, how many places are here? 120 places. 120 free beers. Yeah, 120 free beers. Basically, you get this for 350 Yeah. At 
any yeah. other participant. Yeah, any, check the website. Any of them, three fifty, or you can just buy it on the website. Then Online, they, not the link. Deliver it to you, but yeah, it's, it's best there, to go to a bar. Day. Yeah, it's best to go into a bar. So there's bars, there's breweries, and yeah. restaurants in here. So and sometimes you get, you get lucky and you got you go somewhere and they like there's like seven bars, yeah, seven options, breweries, options, you know, options. So where did you get yours? Uh, I got mine from my cheeks. Oh, I got mine from Capital then, Craft. Then got my first step from my cheeks. Ah, uh, criminal. <laughs> what are you crying? Okay, I, I, was, I, <laughs> I, was, I was gifted this. Yeah. So, the last, uh, what was it? The last War Talks meeting I went to, yeah. uh, the guest speaker was Beer Bro. Byron from Beer yeah. Bro, the podcast. Shout out to Byron. Shout out to Byron. Yeah, you should, come through. You should come through. Yeah, you should. You, you should. Know. You should. So Come sit here and you know your own being your own gave him like a bunch of passports. Yeah. And towards the end of the night, he's like, you know what, man, I have so many of these. Just here. Yeah. That's how I got mine. And I'm here to actually use it. So yeah, no, shout out, man. Yeah, but you, these... you you need to catch up now. Hello. Um, this afternoon. This afternoon. Because like Mad Giant was like, yo, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, but I see you. <laughs> I want to pull through, man. Tolagazi, I was there. I didn't get a stick. Ah, do you know what happened? I, I didn't get went a stick. to Tolagazi too. Is it? Oh, yeah, you when, told me. When I went there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 I forgot my bear passport. And she's like, I can't put a stamp on the passport that it's not here. That's not here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, a, hey, she can give you a stamp, then you, li- yeah. you live with it, then you... I did the same thing know. because I got the drank, drank, drank. Then I was like, ah, oh, my passport's in my pocket. She's like, ah. When you come back again, you'll get your free beer. Then I was like, oh, cool. I mean, like, it, no, like, it gives me an excuse to go back. Yeah, so. like an excuse to go back. Yeah, no, so like, this is, okay, yeah. this is like a catch up session, essentially, because we've spoken about so much. Wow. Yeah, so there was the Clarence, there's the beer passport. And because this will be published on the first week of Feb, Feb, the first Saturday of every February is a very special day, which is. First Saturday of whatever. Yeah, I need no prepared. It's National Beer Day. National Beer Day, so in celebration of that, and trying to push people to actually support their local brewers, support their local like institutions where beer is made. We got a review. Oh, of, now I remember. Yeah. No, it's going to get there. Like, there's going to be a lot of drinking that weekend. No. I'm not going to read. So the producer wants me to recount the story of what happened last time. It didn't end well. That's what Yo. happened. It was me sweating it out in the car at my 5 p.m., bro. Like, I, it took me three hours to get, like, beyond lit. Like, beyond, like, to, like, yeah, no, this is, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't need to call a taxi now. It's, 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 it's home time. But, yeah, no, look, guys, National Beer Day, support your brewers, your local brewers, you know, anything you can do. Go yeah. to the brewery, go to whoever sells locally. Brewed and produced beer, please. Because, like, a, a lot of craft companies have, uh, like, a special going on. Pay 350 or 2 something. 350 you can have as much they as you want. Drink as much as you want. Because, like, we, we, we've had a few invites. Yeah. No, and my problem is how are we going to fulfill all of them? Like, where are we going? I don't know, because Tolagazi invited us. Capital Croft. 1982. 1982 have an invite. Uh, Mad Giant. I forgot to tell you about that. You didn't tell me this. <laughs> <laughs> First time. The tip room. Mad Giant tap room. They, they're having something there. I mean, um, there's three of us, but we all three have to be there. So that becomes... So yeah, uh, and the, the, the thing is, we can't drink here, drive there, drink here, drive there. So issue. we just have to, you know... Guys, help us out. I don't know. Or maybe, yeah. like, here's an idea. Host something... In one place, all of you, like an actual something, be a face. It's in, coming. In. It's coming. It's coming. Or maybe we should host one and invite them. Oh yeah, yeah, and then they bring. Okay, so like a hundred and twenty. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> yes. Before I forget, shout out to Bread Roll Cafe. Yes, we're back. Oh yeah, shout out. Yes, like next, next time we are bringing the beer yeast to make bread. Yeah, we did everything. <laughs> yeah. Turning this into a club or what? So do you think we're going to finish all of them? We have to because they're expired. We're just going to... We have to. Wing it and during the beer fest, go to everyone and some... No, no, no. You have to go there in their yard and drink what they do. But at least if we can hit all of our thing. Yeah. And then like take it section by section. Ah, but our thing is not bad. 
The yeah. bad one is the Western Cape 50. That's too many, dude. That's you know, I'd, you'd have to move there to try. <laughs> yeah. Just... Okay, but enough rambling. We've caught up. Yeah. Um, there's still more news, but oh. Anyway, we'll let's just, get to the beer. We'll just drop I'm whatever. Thirsty. I'm thirsty. So, it's, guys, in celebration of National Beer Day, and like I said, support your local brewer. We got none other than Drymans coming back with a new beer. New beer. Our local brewer. Shout out to Silver. Kaiser uh, Chiefs. Decor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Decor always has yeah, no. back here. No. But Decor, you, you get everything. Dude, shout out then to you. Then you have Browhouse. Nah, we love you guys. You guys, are, you guys are doing well, man. So we figured to start the new year off on a proper note. Yeah, leave it close to home. Yeah, we're going to give you a review of the... <clears throat> How do you pronounce this? Kaizen. Kaizen. Yeah, Kaizen. What's the breakdown? Konnichiwa. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, guys, so you can do the honors and I'm going to like... The, the producer should add that. Oh, yes. Nice. <laughs> music, yeah. yeah. I should have started this with in Japanese, then, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't be racist. No, don't, don't be racist. Let's not go into that territory. I know, I know. I'm just saying, there's a line. You know? Just don't cross. But... <laughs> But, but yeah, no, no, no. But it's the the whole idea with your soul behind, you know. Yeah, no, Asian culture, Japanese yeah. culture specifically, martial arts, blah blah blah. And but yeah, like, yeah. So this is the Kaizen Lager by Drymans, right? As you should know by now, Drymans is from Pretoria, Silverton specifically, I would think South Africa. Founded in 1997, this is a category lager style. Is well, they call it the Kaizen, but it's a rice lager. So that's a rice lager. So this is a first for us. And the ABV, as standard, out of Drymans is 4%. So the five beer criteria, if you don't know, welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll be doing bottling and appearance. We'll be doing taste. We'll be doing the price point. We'll be doing, what is it? Commercial equivalent and the availability. Yeah. I haven't done this in the oil, but... Uh, okay, wait. There's apple juice somewhere in the studio, ne? There is. There's... Can I get a glass of apple juice? <laughs> what do you want to compare? Yeah, like, this is like... Really... No, because the, the idea behind rice lager is that they were trying to get something lighter and more palatable than the standards lagers. Nah, bro. No, they're not close. This is still berry, but it's it, I see how well it's clear. You can sort of see your finger the other side, but it's it's clear. It's clear. It's clear. But that's why it's like, because they use rice as a primary grain instead of like barley. So that's why that's why it looks like this. So wait, like how do you use rice? I tried to look it up. It was so complicated. I was like, dude, I need to stop brewing. Because they say like the rice is it's best, but it's the most complicated to use. Because I mean, that's... Um... no, because the rice is the source of your. What, grain. what do they usually use rice for in Japan? Eating. <laughs> no, but yeah, like I think sushi. I think there's a there's a no, but like if you have an overabundance of something, it's like us using maize. Yeah. Yeah, because we have a lot of maize in South Africa. Kind of what's that? Or so uh, soju. Is it soju? Or... Yo, yo, soju is, is that's Korean, and that's a that's a mixed drink. Yeah. That's like a, a rice spirit, not a rice beer. So yeah, so ha, like guys, for for you to get this, when do you stop? Do, do you like have somewhere you have to stop before you get to? So spirit the later or... you go, the when you when you step down the spirit, yeah, lower and lower and lower. Like in terms of ABV, yeah. you go towards beer. So if you stop prematurely, that's when you get your soju is a premix. But what is it? Um, sake. So sake is a clear rice spirit. Yeah. Yeah. So from there you can like. So basically, dry mints is like actually close to they, making. They could, if they could, they would actually make sake. They probably do. They, and you could ask them to do it. Like we want it. Like <laughs> they, they we, probably. We, we, like, I think that that would be nice. They probably would. They probably would. Like, but like uh, meet like right here. You know, it smells very lager like very lager because it hits all the, the notes and a bit of malt in there, yeah. Yeah, it's, so some rice. It's, it's almost like a fusion beer because it's like Japanese style meets like German style because it's like Japanese ingredients and crossmanship with like the German of lager and like German I, I think, um, the story behind getting to this would be very interesting. Well, it is, it is, it should be so if it was broken down by the brewer. I would do it okay. You should just chill with it. I, 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 like, I went to Japan and, you know, <laughs> yeah. I took the rice, not the testic, testic rice that you buy in the store. Nah, well, <laughs> the high end, the high end. <laughs> the one you find in sushi. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so, so like, because on the, the labeling, so what do you think of the can? 
The can's beautiful. I like it. The can. I mean, like, it, it's, it's... That's the bag. It has, like, a lot of detail without having a lot of detail. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah. With a lot of detail. It's a Japanese flag. No, and because I was thinking about this, like, the cool thing about this is that drivers, we've always liked what they do, but you've always had a problem with their plastic bottles. The bottles, <laughs> yes. But <laughs> so it shows now, that they now strip that it I, out. Now that I think about yeah. it, why didn't you put the, all the other beers in cans then? No, because like, now it's like, that's what they were doing, but now they're like, maybe they're hearing. They're hearing your complaints. They're like, okay, guy that doesn't like our bottles. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, can. Um, you go for a can. Yeah. Is this a first, it's first can? I think this is the first can that I ever produced because they, they do had smaller you, glass bottles. You knock it out of the park. Yeah, no, they did. So I'm going to read the back. Mm. You can drink, you can taste. Uh, in Japan, Kaizen is a philosophy that reverberates with the spirit of constant betterment. Yes, from plastic bottle to cans, betterment. It encapsulates the idea that the small daily steps towards perfection lead to the monumental accomplishments. For us, Kaizen has become more than just a word. It's a way of life and a testament to our unwavering dedication. This log is a tribute to those tough years when we faced the storm head-on. Yes, COVID, we remember. It's a testament to the countless hours spent refining our brewing techniques and never settling for anything less than extraordinary. Every drop in this can is a result of the relentless pursuit of perfection. Yeah, as you say by this crisp, clean taste of our Kaizen Lager, let it be a reminder that Greatness is achieved through constant improvement. Each sip is a celebration of our commitment to quality and our promise to you. Always strive for the best. Love you it. know what I have to say? Yes. Oh, signed by the new brewer, Viet uh, Kalma. Uh, yes. Do you know what Sweden I have to has say? has become the master. Do you, yes. do, you, do you know what I have to say? I'm listening. Oh, you got a, you got a sneak. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. This is perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot of pressure, but okay. Ah, uh, we've been looking for a lager like this. Hey? This is so fucking clean, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. we've been looking for a lager. Like Dude, this. no bad aftertaste. Doesn't linger. Yeah, this is like a summer twenty-four pack. All I day. Mean, this is like the whole year's beer. Just, just pound, just pound. Ow. Mm. How's this even possible? Bitterness is near neutral, very, very low. Like, how's this? It doesn't overwhelm you with a lot of... Because lagers feel heavy. Yeah. Gen then this one is like... Like a feather. I, I'd, 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 like I'd, a feather. I'd put my name on it too. Jeez, I would too, man. I'd sign this like... Yeah, like... like yeah. Nah, man, shout out to Vian, bro. We see you. We see you. Like, from... Because, like, it's a lot of pressure. Your father being, like, Moritz, doing all that he's done, and then for you to, like, step in and, like, no, but new product. I mean. this, this is like, yeah, I had to step up and yeah, I stepped up. It's a brave new old, man. I like it. I, I really like where we had. And your father had the plastic bottles. You'd be like, You're like nah, can. I'm going to push. I'm going to push. And yo, you guys, this is good. So, bottling and appearance, we're happy. Taste, over the moon. Uh, price. Price, price, price. I need to go get these with this. By the way, just had that thought. But yeah, all right. You, you, they, they in... They're in there. Oh, of course they're in there. Bro. They 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 legacy. They legacy. I did not go. I, Jones went. Producer went. Producer doesn't like this passport yet. Imagine. Oh. Uh, imagine. imagine. How are you drinking alcohol with no passport? Yeah. How do you do that? <laughs> How do you do that? But price, what are you thinking? Well, you, you get them like this. Bro. One Usu usually, yeah. how do how do they? One, do you know they sell singles? Uh, yeah, wasn't singles. So right? they singles. Was it fifty bucks for? The yeah, fifty bucks for the liter. Yes, yes, yes. Liter. Yes, yes that was and one. This is like, these are like maybe, 40s. maybe split in half. Yeah, these are four forty cans. Yeah, I'd say. How much are you willing to pay then? Let's let me ask you that way. For something that's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, essentially, yeah. And it's uh, for forty. 440. 440. 440. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say off a liter. Yeah. 25, 30 bucks. Okay. Because it's a lager thing. It is a lager. Yeah. yeah. And we are a lager drinking country. Yeah. So, no, our producer got over 30 bucks. It's 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 reasonable. I'm happy. I'm like, for I'm this. Happy. I'm, ha uh, happy. I'm happy to pay <laughs> this. To... Like, this is like a good welcome back. I'm <laughs> um, like, yeah, no, it's been a long year. December was long. December was long. Like, this but... is one of those. We are going to have an awesome year with 
<laughs> yeah, but of course, some peers. Good start. Yeah. Good. So yeah, yeah, no. I think we should document us going there. We should. Getting a stamp. We should. And drinking it in the brewery. Taking pictures. And the questions that we have now, like, how did you get to this? Yeah, what after? inspired this? I yeah, know we should. I think we should. They, they're so close to us. Yeah. There's no reason why we shouldn't, like, get them on camera and just, like... What if you answer us in Japanese? Like, start speaking I'll Japanese. I'll Japanese. I've been watching anime. <laughs> now that this is true. Yes, yes, yes. Heard them all before. So we're happy with the price. We're happy with the taste. We're happy with the bottom of the appearance. Two, three. Then comes the availability. Uh, access is available. Because you went to, you've been to where we buy alcohol. Oh, yeah. Shout the out. Shout out. The dealer. Shout out. The dealer. The plug. Yeah. No, but the plug. It, it, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. Because I went, I went, I think, a week before. We saw Because the, uh, the others are there. The others but are not there. this one. Yeah. So it needs to, we need to. You know, get that train rolling. Then. And, like, my whole thing is that um, Dryman's is in Pretoria. It is. It should, like, flood the market of Pretoria. First and foremost. Yeah. But the thing is, none of these are independent. Like, Liquor City, I don't know how they get that leeway with that craft market, but they do. But Liquor City is still a chain. It's still a, um, what would you call it? But, yeah. What is the name I'm looking for? What's McDonald's? A franchise. A franchise. Wow, okay. But, but, <laughs> the, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's a franchise. So he needs to, like, say, no, like, I motivate for, you know, sourcing this. And yeah. it also needs to move. You know, there's no use you getting a lot of, like, Pretoria based guys and this stuff doesn't move out. So that's why you see a lot of Devil's Peak product because people are familiar with the brand and they move. Uh, we got news in regards to that. Even what you call? Oh. No, 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 no. Like, guys, the symbol was long, but the symbol was long for the beer industry. The oh. beer industry is kind of in trouble, a little bit. We are in it's, trouble. It's kind of, kind of, not all the way, but it's good news, bad news. So, the bad news is that we are, yeah, less drunk. Bad news is that yeah. I think Devil Speak is teetering a little bit. Oh, they supply has gone down. Oh. Every time I go to the guys, I'm looking for like St. Francis Session IPA. <laughs> Haven't arrived, hasn't arrived, stock hasn't arrived. So, things are teetering there. That's Devil Speak, and that's the big guy. SAB, on the other hand. Uh, when was the last time you saw Ogarden or Lef? In oh, I, I looked for both of them. Yeah. But they were very hard to find. Do you know why? Why? Discontinued. Yeah? <laughs> How do you discontinue those two? SAB says it's no longer financially viable to keep producing them for this market. So if you haven't seen... Wait, them, so oh God, are they saying that we are... It's done. Re, 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 standard the failure. No, they like... We deserve Black Label, Castle Lager, Castle Light. That's what happened The P, all uh, the P that they have. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So no more. So now they're saying they're only servicing the uh, restaurants with kegs, but they're no longer going to be bottling um, left or garden for the So food. basically... They are turning all of us into alcoholics because now you have to buy kegs. Well, or you could just support local. So instead of buying Old Garden, you might get a bone crusher. Instead of getting left, you might do something, you know, Belgian brewed by OC or, you know. Okay. So, that, doom that, and gloom. That, that, it's good for the craft market. So, guys, if you're producing Belgian beer, yeah. This is your type I mean, of here's, here's another one. It's winning. Yeah, no. Yeah, but. Flat the market too because so like, availability me, is a no, yeah. Availability is a no, and then commercial equivalent. Oh, you guys, nothing that I first may have had that's made from rice. I think Asahi <laughs> might, Asahi super dry, but that's like a the big Japanese beer. But we don't really get it here, but we might try and order because I've seen some online stores have it, so we might try to get that. Not but, okay, thousand I don't know, <laughs> but for now. Our market just doesn't have it. Yeah, so you're winning. So that's what I'm saying. Flat the market. Four out of five. Because like anyone can drink this. No, definitely. If you love lager. Any, like anyone. All your complaints about lager have been sorted out. Yeah. yeah, anyone. Like this is this is going to be like the gateway drug. Sure. Let's let's go that route to it. <laughs> but after after trying this drug, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, that's the thing. is You're going to stay here. It's not going like to everything else is like. Yeah, you're gonna be like, yeah, that's not a long guess. This too is too strong, too light, too heavy, too heavy. Yeah. Like you know, this one is like, yeah, this no, is it. this is it. This is what you've been building up to. And so, guys, we we are Pretorians, and as Pretorians, we're very proud of what you guys produce. Yeah, very we'll verified. Shout out as loud as we can. Kaizen, yes. Konnichiwa, yes. 
four out of five. Four out of five. Yeah, they so, <laughs> they're killing it. Ah, they got they're killing it. So now, now, now we can move on to the beat section, dude. I really hope you did your homework for this. I didn't do my homework. Oh God. Okay. So no, tell me your Corona. He, 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 he takes drive. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know the worst part is, now I know you drive a lot, so I send you things on your phone saying just listen to this whilst you drive. I don't know why you don't do that. Because. Because and I may I'm, I specifically send you links to the actual because. Because well, are, you, are your customers saying no? I want to listen to you on my piano. Is that what they say? <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay. But you are familiar with Sakuya Corona. Yeah, you are familiar with yeah. the concept of Japanese jazz and what the Japanese have given to the world of who jazz. Can I, who can I think of what Japanese? Yeah, there's a number. Okay, but some of them are like maybe not jazz all the way, but they'll do like city pop. Yeah. So you get your Yamashitas. Uh, okay, wait. Who did you mention now? Takuya Kuroda. And then I, I sent you uh, Big Yuki. Oh, you sent me Big Yuki. I listened to Big Yuki. That was Then it. Takuya. Yes, because he worked with a lot, I wanna, a lot of work with Jose. Like, I'm, Jose. A huge, I'm a huge fan of him. Yeah. I know that. I know you've heard his music. That's why I was like, let's make this easy for you. Yeah, I'm a huge fan <laughs> of him. Yeah, yeah. Because, like... Uh, he sampled Everybody Loves the Sunshine. He did. Ne? Did his own cover. He knocked it out he of the He killed it. Him and Jose was just... Uh, I forgot the, the name of the album. Yes. But that... that no, no, no. It's that, Rising Sun. So that was... Oh, yeah. It was Rising Sun. Yeah, that, that one album. is the one. And then they also did Simply Beautiful uh, covering Al Green on Jose's album. So... And that album was actually prepared before he had a record deal. <laughs> they were just like, dude, let's just get in the studio. Whether you get a deal or not, we'll find one with... So they did two covers, Roy Ayers, Everybody Loves the Sunshine, great. Simply Beautiful by Al Green did a cover of that, and both were stellar. Based on those two records, Blue Note was just like, yeah, here's your contract. Keep keep on. Yeah, let's, 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 let's get you signed. Let's get you on the on the record label. They got the... Get you working. Right one, Blue Note. So, yeah, no, to celebrate, like, the Japanese influence all the way through, beer to jazz, check out Kuroda or Kuroda-san. Now I want to go That's to Japan. That's the way you put respect on someone's surname. Yeah. So, and you know they traditionally use your surname first and then your name. Wait, what? No, in Japan. That's how it actually goes. So, people will refer to you first with your surname and yeah. then your first name. So, yeah. Yours would be Tokesan. To be, that's your surname, correct? Yeah. yeah. So, if someone is talking about you and is wanting to put a mark of respect upon your name, it's you put San at the end. So, Baloi-san, Tokesan. Yeah, <laughs> I know you seem confused. No, but because if we no. come across, it's not so ring. It's Sunday. I know, <laughs> but in Japan, it's like a compliment. Yeah, chief compliment. So, uh, shout out to Kuroda san, uh, Arigato, yeah, for the music, and yeah, man, Arigato to the diamonds for the beer. Yeah, they yeah, no. we are going to Japan, we should, and like, I might get lost there and never come back. I might, if I go to the regions in the world, that right? if I go, I fear I might never come back. So, how she, yo, you, you stay. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind getting lost there. It's, then we'll call you when we go to the next country. How? I'm going to lose my foot. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to lose it. But I'll come back. I'll come back. I might yeah. just stay there for like way too long. Okay, this beer is so good. So good. But guys, check out Takuya Kuroda. He's amazing. He's released like I, four albums. This one I doubt is actually 4%. Eh? Oh, are you feeling the yeah, the kick one. a little bit? Like I, no, do you know, because it's clean and you're drinking it more. It's not that it's <laughs> strong. It's just that you're consuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I know. check out the beer. Definitely check out the beer. They do deliver. That I know for a fact. Yeah, they do deliver. They do deliver. And it's best to order in bulk. So you get, you know, for that Make delivery. Make a plan. And you, get, you know. And they have more than just beer. They have more than just beer. So your whiskey. Like give it to your whole family. Mambur. Just. Yeah. Oh, Tetch. Tetch. Like honey beer. Yeah. Strong honey beer. <laughs> they have that as well. So, man, guys, one more time. National Beer Day. Support your local brewers. Support your local brewers. Listen to better music. And, yeah. And to the drink land of. Legally. Yeah. So shout out to the land of Rising Sun for inspiring good jazz musicians. And good beer. So can we sign off? Yeah. Okay, son. Plus, Banoisan. <laughs>
Arigato. That's why Arigato. Arigato. Bebeto. Yeah. Open minds. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to say good times. God damn it. Ar- Arigato. Arigato. Enjoy. <laughs>